Hi everyone! Today we're going to be talking about Sikram into this L, otherwise known as Blue Sailors, French Endive, and Chicory, which is a perennial form. When flowering, Chicory can grow to be about 6 feet tall, but it's typically found at much shorter heights. Chicory has a history of being used as a medicinal plant to treat many different ailments such as malaria, diabetes, liver disorders, and much, much more. This species is also cultivated. Some cultivated varieties of the species include the radishino and the Belgian endive. Lastly, chicory has been found to have a high percentage of inulin, which is a dietary fiber, so it is typically used in the production of commercial inulin. Chicory is native to Eurasia, but has since been introduced to North America and has become widespread throughout. I guarantee that you've probably seen this plant on the side of the road while driving, because they're most commonly found on roadsides and in other highly disturbed areas. Hardiness zones three through nine are suitable habitat for growing chicory outside year round. During its first year of life, chicory appears as a basal rosette and looks very similar to a dandelion. If we look at the leaves in the basal rosette of chicory, they are simple and lobed. Now, if we look at the leaves on the stem of a chicory, we'll see that they are sessile, meaning that they attach directly to the stem, which is unlike the leaves in the basal rosette. Also, the leaves that are attached to the stem aren't lobed. Their margins are smooth. Additionally, the leaves of this species form an alternate leaf arrangement on the stem. Chicory blooms May through October, and the flowers of this species appear in groups of one to five in a spike-like inflorescence of blue flowers. Occasionally, they'll be white or pink. Each flower head in this inflorescence is perfect, meaning that it has both male and female reproductive organs. Even though this species is in the Asteraceae family, its flower heads have no disc flowers, but they typically have 17 ray flowers, which are otherwise known as petals. Each one of these petals will have five sharp teeth at the end of them. As the flowers are pollinated and close up, Capsules that contain the seeds will begin to develop, and the seeds will mature around August to October. The seeds themselves are small, brown, and known as achaeans. These achaeans are dispersed by animals and people. Before we go, this species has some additional features that are worth mentioning. First and foremost is chicory's large taproot. As mentioned previously, this root has been used for medicinal purposes and as a source for inulin. Additionally, in some areas, they grind the root up and use it as a coffee substitute or additive. Lastly, when broken, the stem will secrete a white milky sap. Alrighty, that is all for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed learning about Sicarum intibus, otherwise known as chicory with me. If you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video.